the rest of the news. Welcome to Wednesday. Good morning. This is Dan Earhart. Someone in the know once upon a time advised, begin each episode with the weirdest, most far out story available. Today, that's easy. We've got a music mashup that defies credulity. Let's go way back to the real classic American songbook, back to the 1800s, the time of Stephen Foster. This is wild. Neil Young and Crazy Horse. Think Cinnamon Girl, Cowgirl in the Sand, some real rock and roll. Their new album comes out June 5th with all 19th century songs, known mostly to anybody alive today, from kindergarten. Oh, Susanna, Clementine, Tom Dooley, Travel On. Some of these had resurgences as 60s folk ballads, Wayfair and Stranger, and the set list wouldn't be complete without She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain When She Comes by Neil Young and Crazy Horse. you got to be kidding. What are these guys smoking? Oh, and here's the hit single, This Land is Your Land. It was a smash for Woody Guthrie. The name of the album is Americana, out June 5th, and it's probably great. Lucky them, back in the 19th century, corn was corn, not Mon 810. Genetically modified corn from the Frankenfood folks at Monsanto got that stuff blowing in the wind, and it can end up in your garden, whether you want it to or not, and you probably don't. So, over the weekend in France, the government just said no. For now, it's just a temporary moratorium, but France has sided with nature. And as of yesterday, all plantings of Mon 810, trade name Yield Guard, became illegal. Kind of makes your mouth water, doesn't it, neighbor? Just thinking about chowing down on some hot buttered Yield Guard 810 on the cob. Mmm while listening to This Land is Your Land. And how's the weather over at your place? Well, you can look at it in real time all over the world, anywhere. It's a new free app called EarthNow from NASA, available on iPhone and those smoking hot iPads. Android is on the way. EarthNow, free from NASA. There's a new date for launch of the first commercial space capsule to the International Space Station. The Dragon from SpaceX Company of California will blast off on the company's very own Falcon 9 rocket April 30th. Remember the European Space Agency's mock trip to Mars last year when six Marsonauts spent 560 days in a trailer parked on a lot in Moscow? Well, NASA wants to do something similar, a far journey to Mars, but with the astronauts in an isolation chamber on the International Space Station, maybe about three years from now. Hey, the Russians want to try again? Talk about what are they smoking? After the stunning failure of their Phobos Grunt satellite, which ended up in the Pacific Ocean instead of on a Martian moon, undeterred. Now, they want to send probes to Jupiter and Venus and establish unmanned stations on Mars and put a Russian on our own moon all in the next 18 years. They better call SpaceX of Hawthorne, California. A nice new photographic essay coffee table book is out. Hollywood rides a bike with lots of black and white shots featuring the likes of Shirley Temple, Bridget Bardot, Sophia Loren, 125 pictures of cycling with the stars, pedaling vintage bikes around the city or on the lot. Here's a fun story from the British press about Sir Richard Branson, who attended the big state dinner last week at the White House for Prime Minister David Cameron. The Mail is reporting that Sir Richard asked President Obama for a spiff. He was looking to score at the black tie affair. This guy just doesn't care. If the story is true, but we don't have to ask what he's smoking, he'll tell you pot. While in Washington, he chaired a serious Atlantic exchange discussion about legalizing marijuana, so-called decriminalizing cannabis. Oh, and the president said, sorry, he didn't have any. See you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. We're always available on iTunes and at therestofthenews.com. This is Dan Earhart.